sales and services. Typically, when someone needs an expert, you're often in a hurry and you make a mistake. Making a mistake with an expert is extremely expensive. Everybody sounds good on the sales call, but you want to make sure that people really know what they do, are delivering it with professionalism and ethics, and also speak your language. So today we're going to give you a, an expert in hiring smart. So who doesn't need that? So Carol Vinci with Productivity and Insights Tools. So Carol, let's just talk about your background. You started Big Blue at IBM. So give us a little bit of background on the 30,000-foot uh, 30 foot, 30, foot view of you. Absolutely. Thank you, Kathy, so much. Yes, I started uh, back when computers were a novelty to a lot of people, and now what we carry in our pockets is more powerful than what the, the rooms we had to build to house them in. I spent a lot of time in uh, sales this, throughout my career, hiring and actually having to fire a couple of people throughout that process. I then, when I left in the early 90s, got into the dot-com craze of uh, startup businesses and technology and uh, learned a lot about startup business process. I learned how to use tools to find the clients that I really wanted to work with and to help them fill the holes in their management teams so that they had a, a complete team that was attractive to potential investors. I actually worked as an HR person for one of my clients and hired 41 people in 90 calendar days. And if you've done any recruiting, you know how mission impossible that is. But I've learned that the tools are phenomenally accurate, allowed us to prevent making mistakes and salvage people who had the majority of the skills but just needed a little bit of additional coaching to be successful in the roles we brought them in for. So let's talk about the hiring process. I'm a classic entrepreneur. I move fast, think fast, have lots of vision. I'm not patient. And so I've made a lot of my own mistakes in terms of hiring because everybody looks good on the interview. One of my clients once told me after one of my first mistakes that the person you interviewed and the person you hired have never met. And I think that's kind of classic. So let's talk about what these tools do and how they help the entrepreneur. Yes, very often there are people who are great interviews and show nothing of those skills when they show up on Monday morning to do the job. Last week I had an experience, I'm working with a startup uh, company and the two founders are ready to hire their first people. And I started asking with a questionnaire that I asked my clients and they disagreed on over half the questions on what the skills were for the job. Fortunately, we uncovered this before they started interviewing. So right. they spent two hours among themselves resolving their understanding or misunderstanding so that when we bring candidates in they're both looking for the same skills and Got that's so, very important so there's lots and lots of these tools out there and i've used everything from myers Briggs to caliper to colby to you name it right and i think as an entrepreneur it's a little bit confusing on what really works what's going to give me the kind of really um tangential specific expertise and advice that I need. So let's talk about how your system actually works. Well, the tools that I use were pr produced by Profiles International. I would not even consider taking on the responsibility of developing such products. The value of the tools that I use is that they have a suite of products. So they start with pre-employment all the way up through executive challenges. And depending on the level that you're hiring, like if you're hiring for a truck driver, or customer service people, you want a different tool. And the questions are geared toward that population and they're also priced accordingly. So it's very economical to use the tools throughout your operation. They provide feedback for the managers and also for the employees. So if you're a small business and you're concerned about, I don't have the time to create you know, a growth plan for my employees, the report that comes with a version for you and your employee allows you to sit down at the desk and work from the same document. And this way you don't have to put extra effort into motivating and improving the employee. They can agree to a couple of, of the characteristics that were identified as needing help. And then you come back on a monthly or quarterly basis and work with them using that same document. It gives you the follow-up that you need if you ever have to go into litigation. And it also gives the employee the feeling that you concern, your concerns are specifically geared to them as individuals. 
Got it. So the cost of making a mistake on hiring wrong is incredibly high. And the failure rate of first hires is also astronomically high. I, I think I read one survey recently where something like 68% of even senior hires don't last a year. So how much money, I guess, as well as time can a process like this um, help? Uh, an entrepreneur. My fees are, are less than a percentage of, or two of what the cost of bringing someone in is because the estimates are that it's more than 100% of the salary that you brought, that you hired somebody if you have to bring in a replacement, the training, the lost productivity of the person who's shadowing them. I mean, I had a classic example. I was hiring a CFO for a publicly traded company. They were listed on NASDAQ. They presented three candidates to me. I ran the assessments. The one that they selected was the weakest in my view. And three months later, I got a phone call from the CEO saying we just let the CFO go. Having to fire a C CFO in a publicly traded company is a major ding to your helmet. I never knew what he did, whether he ran the, down the halls naked or ran off with money, but we, we then I have a letter in my file saying, you know, your your documents were correct and we chose to ignore it and we will not do it an, another time. We will follow your advice. Lovely. We are cursed. Let me just... Uh, uh, sorry. You want, to good. you want to reschedule or... Um, let me just tell the link, the 10 o'clock that I can push back because he's not a Zoom, he's a phone, phone call. Okay. Um, and then I can just go another couple minutes. Um, sorry, I really don't normally have uh, all these issues. Cancel. At least he's not a Zoom, uh, a Zoom um, uh -huh. call, so um, I should be fine. All right, so we'll start from the top again. Usually we have uh, work out the kinks. So um, the first part was just a little bit too much of a monologue. You want to be able to go back and forth. So just okay. do your background first, then I'll throw you a, a question. question. The tools. All right, great. Okay? All right, so here we go. It's Productivity uh, Tools and Insights is the name of the company. Productivity Tools and Insights, thank you, got it. Okay. And once I forgot, I couldn't get somebody's name right. She has two last names and I just kept reversing the order. <laughs> you know, so, okay, here we go from the top. Hey everybody, it's Kathy Boyle, president of Chapin Hill Advisors. Today we're interviewing another member of our Circle of Influence. Our Circle of Influence has been designed to showcase experts in a wide variety of fields and services. We often bring experts in to our clients and sometimes I need an expert I suddenly didn't have in my network and finding one can be really challenging. So when you need an expert, a lot of times you're in a hurry, you take a re reference from a friend and maybe what worked for the friend didn't work for you or maybe your language barrier, you don't talk English to each other. Um, also, a lot of people sound great. I don't really know anybody who sells a service um, who doesn't sound wonderful on the first call, but the delivery can be lacking. So today we're going to interview an HR hiring expert, Carol Vinci, Productivity Tools and Insights is the name of her company. So Carol, let's start with big picture, the 30,000 uh, foot view. You started at Big Blue. So tell us about that experience and why that prepared you for what you're doing now. Well, thank you, Kathy, so much. Yes, I uh, worked at IBM when uh, computers were novel to everybody, and then I was in the sales function for in many locations, hiring and firing people, unfortunately, a, a few uh, at the other side of, of the table, and uh, prepared me to move on with uh, using my expertise in other industries. Terrific. And then you moved on. You did do startups in the dot com. So you work with that really super fast growing. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. At that point, I needed to discover what teams had all the skills necessary to be introduced to investors. And in one particular case, I worked as the HR person for 90 days using the, my process. And I hired 41 people in 90 calendar days. 
Oh, that's amazing. That's terrific. So let's just talk about the failure rate on hiring. I'm a classic entrepreneur. I move fast, think fast, want everything done yesterday. And so I've made hiring mistakes, I think, by um, trying to use tools that are out there or um, hiring too quickly or expecting the, the employee to be able to do sort of everything. And I think that I, I'm very typical. I think entrepreneurs think what we do is easy and we think we want a mini me. So let's talk about where your tools step in and help us clarify and identify. Yeah, I have an expression uh, that to build a strong team, you need to hire your opposite. And that is really hard when you're sitting across the table from somebody who shares none of your interests and thinking, how can this person possibly help? Right. And so where do you start with the employer? Well, I asked the employer to complete a questionnaire so that they're able to identify what they think the job requires. And I had an experience last week with two founders who were ready to hire their first people. And they, when they filled out the questionnaire, over half the answers did not agree. Ooh, that's a problem. <laughs> so a lot of times I do see partnerships formed and then break up. There's a whole bunch of coaches that work with uh, divorce between business owners, very often because you don't take the time to see whether or not you're on the same page. So here they weren't on the same page about actual skill sets and what was needed to fill the role. Yes, and using the results of those questionnaires, they actually spent two hours among themselves to be able to resolve the requirements of the jobs so that uh, when they started interviewing this week, they were consistent with their questioning and their carrying away the, the right perception of who would work in their organizations. All right, and then let's talk about how this matches up. Let's not name any other competitors, but there's a swath of other products out there and many I've used. I probably bought 20 books on how to hire and fire smart. Um, so why is this so effective? Well, the company that I've chosen has a range of products. So it starts with pre-employment, which can be used in entry-level positions, in delis where they're handling cash, all the way up through executive challenges. So you, you can look at you know, what skills that people in the top of your organization need to improve on if they're critical to their growth in the business, or it can be ignored if the, the skills that they have or and they are in the right jobs and they're using their strengths. Okay, and in areas where we're working remote and you've got teams across the country, I have four remote people. None of them ever walk into my, one's in Oregon and he's worked for me for about 14 years. So how can this be effective in terms of managing people remotely? Well, one of the things that you will look at in the report is, should you closely manage that person? Do they need daily check-ins? or are they the type of person that once a week is sufficient? And if you looked at them every day, they'd feel smothered and you would actually demotivate them. And by having that information ahead of time, you're able to be most effective in getting the most productivity out of each individual. All right, that's terrific. One of my clients told me after I made my first mistake in a hire that the person you've hired and the person you interviewed and the person you hired have never met. So is there a way to game this system? Can they uh, get around this? One of the things that I really like about the tools that I use is there's a distortion scale. So you can determine if somebody is gaming the system. One of my clients called me one day, the scale on the pre-employment goes from one to nine, and this particular individual had all nines. Oh. But he was running the, the reports himself because he wanted instant turnaround. So I asked him what the distortion scale was, and the distortion scale was not accurate. So obviously this individual had been trained on taking assessments, but was not being forthright. And I suggested that he contact her for a follow-up interview and she no-showed. Aha, uh -huh. that's interesting. All right, so cutting out the mistakes and making sure that you put the right people in the right seats is sounds like what this really does. So how would I find you if I wanna to talk to you about whether this was right for my startup, my mid-size or my larger size business? My email address is hireguru, H-I-R-E-G-U-R-U, at O-P-T-O-N-L-I-N-E dot net. That is the best way. My tools are web-based, so geography is not a restriction. And we can chat a little bit, determine what you're trying to accomplish, and move forward. 
Terrific. We're delighted to have you in our circle of influence. Thank you so much, Kathy. Good. So I think that that was good. So now we're going to do two one minutes. So this is almost all you. So keep it to 50 seconds. So okay. I would say, you know, a 25 year career at IBM, uh, experience in dot com and startup. I realized that there were tools lacking. I found this fabulous, you know, productivity yeah, and then, uh, products. Yep. Yep. And I specialize in helping entrepreneurs not make mistakes in hire. I think that that's, you know, a critical thing because that's what to me would be attractive. Um, okay. So, um, all right. So here we go. I'm just going to do a quick from the top. I keep forgetting I don't have to stop and record. I hope this works when I go to edit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, everybody. It's Kathy Boyle, president of Chapin Hill Advisors. Today, we're doing a quick interview with a member of our circle of influence, Carol Vinci, productivity, tools, and insights. Take it away and tell us what you do. Well, thank you, Kathy. I spent 25 years at IBM and then uh, migrated into the dot-com craze of the 90s, where I discovered a suite of web-based assessment tools that I use now to prevent mistakes by entrepreneurs who may not have a clear understanding of what their hiring requirements are. I can help them with that. If they have top employees, we can clone those employees so that they find the right person to manage their business with their clients in their geography. And we can find you at? HireGuru, H-I-R-E-G-U-R-U at O-P-T-O-N-L-I-N-E dot net. Terrific, we're delighted to have you in our circle of influence. Thank you so much. Great, that was perfect. We'll do that one more time just for fun and giggles. Here we go. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Kathy Boyle, president of Chapin Hill Advisors. Today we're doing just a quick intro with a member of our circle of influence, Carol Vinci with Productivity Tools and Insights. So Carol, tell us how you help entrepreneurs in their hiring uh, process not to make mistakes. Take it away and give us your 50 second commercial. Well, thank you so much, Kathy. I learned from my corporate experience that sometimes the person you're interviewing is not the one who shows up on Monday morning. And I also worked during the dot-com craze of the 90s to fill out teams to make sure that they had a breadth of skills necessary to move the business forward. Now I work with entrepreneurs so that if they wanted to clone an, an employee, we would know what the skills are that they were looking for. If they don't have good job descriptions, I can help them with that. My tools are web-based, so geography is not a restriction. And I help manage people who may be re working remotely by knowing whether you need to check up on them daily or whether once a week is sufficient to keep from smothering them. Terrific, and we would find you at? Hire Guru, H-I-R-E-G-U-R-U -E at O-P-T-O-N-L-I-N-E dot net. Thank Terrific, you. we're delighted to have you in our circle of influence. Look forward to it. Okay, great. So I will splice these up and then send them to you and then we'll save them um, Hopefully I can do that, uh, or Emily can. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not the queen of Zoom. So, all right, wonderful, Carol. Um, have fun on the call tomorrow night. I forgot uh, who's moderating that. Darcy's moderating. We have a big turnout. We have 16 people for tomorrow. Which oh, is wow. good. Okay. So, all right, yep. wonderful. Thanks. Have a great day. Look forward to it. Thank you so much.